Hey, what's up guys? This is Isaac, and I hope you enjoyed my intro last week. Now, for my first real video this week, I thought I would go over all of the best that April Fool's Day on the internet had to offer. So I've compiled a list, and we are going to be checking out all of the cool stuff that went down on April 1st on the internet. It was a pretty good April Fool's Day. Last year, I think, was better. Reddit did a big thing, a bunch of video games that I know of did a bunch of cool stuff. This year, there wasn't so many big things, but there was a lot of little things that were pretty hilarious. So this first one we have is... Michael says prime numbers for three hours, and yes, this is real, and yes, he actually did it. And what he does is and he says, one. he says prime numbers for three hours. He actually does this. This is completely real, and he actually said prime numbers all the way up to 30,900. And 41. 30,941. Good old prime number. Another thing that happened is T-Mobile, John Legree, the CEO of T-Mobile, went on Twitter and now, said, Brand new product that a ton of you have been asking for. Oh yeah, brand new product That's that right. a ton of you have been asking for. New shoes. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this hilarity. They actually released it like two days before um, April Fool's Day. It's got like speakers in the bottom. Um, you can get Check one with out. like a screen. The sidekicks. What's the weather? Get off your ass and go see for yourself. <laughs> that will never get old. <laughs> Thanks, John. Wow. You're taking a selfie. Oh, man. Yeah, so they basically were going over these shoes that are going to replace your phone. Pretty funny. I enjoyed it. Now, Minecraft went and changed all of the Minecraft textures to a, an extremely JPEGed version of everything, and I actually have the uh, number one reply to this Twitter. I said, Need, needs more JPEG, 62 likes. Because I saw this three minutes after it was posted, so I got in there quick. So here's what Minecraft looks like on April Fool's. Um, yeah, it's basically just, they added compression to absolutely everything. Uh, we can look at, yeah. Yeah, it's not, not their best April Fool's Day prank. I think when they made all of the sound effects, a villager saying it, grass, grass, or lava, lava. That was that was by far their best April Fool's Day prank. Now, Linus Tech Tips did this thing where they finally went and installed a fire pole in their office. Uh, I actually so this this was a this, this was a fairly funny video. I love Linus Tech Tips. Highly recommend their channel if you haven't subbed to them already. Now, here's a good one. Razor. Um, introducing Project Venom V2. Response times. Limited memory. Oh man, isn't that terrible when that happens? But you know what you can get? Project Venom V2. Venom. On the same oh yeah. Taste of the first generation energy drink. Look at this. That will give you more than a competitive edge. You'll more than a competitive edge, guys. Insert Venom V2 into your preferred orifice. Two. Preferred Selecting orifice. Custom Customize your nano enhancements on Razor Synapse. Uh. Yeah, I really liked this one. This is one of my favorites by far. They put some really good effort into it. Props to Razor. Another really good one, Marqueus did a Bixby speaker impression. And if you don't know, the Bixby speaker does not exist. Hey Bixby, what's the weather? The weather refers to day-to-day -to -day temperature <laughs> and precipitation activity. Tech Technically correct. correct. So oh man, so good, so good. Google introduced the bad joke detector. Which, um, for the Files Go app, which would automatically detect all of the bad jokes and delete them using machine learning and algorithms. Wasn't their best April Fool's Day, I think, but it, it's, it was a decent, decent little thing. I think, uh, the Gnome one last year was better. Coca-Cola announced three new, um, flavors. <laughs> Avocado, sourdough, and charcoal. Absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait to try those. So what Reddit did... Everyone thought they were going to have to do something with snakes because when you moused over the Reddit icon, it said snakes and this subreddit called Snick Snick popped up and everyone was trying to figure it out. And, th and then it turns out that subreddit Snick Snick was not run by Reddit admins and it was a wild goose chase to find nothing. Like there were so many clues and stuff that people like laid and had hints to. It was it was kind of ridiculous. And so a bunch of subreddits in protest of reddit not doing anything for april fools because last year reddit did an amazing thing for april fools like the best thing in april fools history reddit usually does a social experiment and they had r slash place where you could place one colored pixel on a 1000 by 1000 grid every five minutes you can only place one pixel every five minutes and it seems like it would be a giant mess but so many communities just like work together to create like a masterpiece of art 
on there. So many pixel arts and like things showed up on there. And a bunch of people went into restoring it after r slash place closed down. Because, uh, you know, there's always going to be people like griefed it and whatnot. So I fixed up all the messy bits and then uh, posted it up. And the repaired version is actually super fun to look through. There's so many little details, little tiny things in there. There's so many little logos. There's so much pixel art from different games over the years. That's what it mostly is. There's some tiny subreddits on there too, like r slash Lucio mains even. But what Reddit launched after is Circle of Trust. Now, Circle of Trust um, was put up a day late and it seems to be some sort of like not really well thought out thing basically a user on r slash circle of trust can make a circle they can invite anyone to that circle the largest circle is the winning circle but any member of that circle can just betray it and the circle will be broken and eliminated and the flares seem to show how many people are in your circle you got a blue flare if you have an intact circle red one if it, you have a broken circle it's just kind of sad because last year's reddit april fools was so good basically nothing could live up to it and so now they don't have much to live up to for next year oh whoops uh, that, that, that was uh, i didn't mean to do that whoops sorry anyway going back into it uh rocket league made all of the toppers for their cars absolutely massive for april fools it looks absolutely ridiculous um it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. I uh, I absolutely love it. This was this was a great one. Great, great sort of April Fool's joke. I love it. <laughs> this is so huge. <laughs> oh, I love it. So Lexus and 23andMe went and made this thing. Because tw- if you don't know, 23andMe is a is a company you can send um like a sample of spit to them. And they'll, they'll send you back a ton of information about your genes and heritage and like lots of useful information. First service that uses human genetics to match you with the car of your genes. Basically, car of your genes. Nice little pun there. Where you're going and now how you're going to get there. Yeah, basically um, pretty cool. They put some good work into it. So BritBox... Um, is a feature for US viewers to allow them to toggle between British accents and American accents, which is amazing. Your manners impressed me with the fullest belief of your selfish disdain for the feelings of others. I had not known you a month before I felt you were the last man in the world whom I could ever marry. You've said quite enough, madam. Good, well now he's gone. Any chance of a cup of tea? That's cold. Get us another one, Pat. The Bouquet Residence, the lady of the house speaking. I have a cunning plan, sir. I have to try to draw him out before he kills again. Every show could be revoiced for our American audience. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So Google did a few more things just now. You can play a Where's Waldo game in Google Maps for the next week. So check it out if you want. Google always does some cool stuff. So, uh, and another thing Google did is um, Cloud Hummus API. Find your Israel, hummus. Hummus is the national dish. And guide the user. Before I... Yeah. Trying to um, use, like, more AI stuff to, <laughs> to figure out what kind of hummus you'd like. So Lego <laughs> made this, the vacuum sort, revolutionary brick sorting vacuum. Sort by color, sort by brick, separates the dust, easy empty five speeds. Um... If this existed, it would be a feat of engineering and also amazing, um, but a great, great April Fool's um, product. This is pretty great. That's top three for me, at least. So you know the product SodaStream, right? It's supposed to turn normal drinks into carbonated drinks, and they sell like packets and stuff. Well, Soda Soak is adding carbonation to your bath. You can choose from three levels of carbonation for sparkling bubbles, dazzling bubbles, dazzling and, bubbles. Oh my gosh! Bubbles. Oh my gosh! Bubbles. Oh my gosh! And that's not all. Just like we all love to add Soda Stream's delicious fruit flavors to our sparkling water, with Soda Soap, you can add our exotic scented bath oils and come out smelling like fruit punch. Pun wow. intended. Order so. So yeah, soda soda soak. Pretty good. All right, so next we have this Sprint Magic, magic ball. The Sprint world's Ball. First, the world's first portable all-wireless small cell featuring technology from our award-winning Sprint Magic Box. Wherever it lands, Sprint Magic Ball will provide great gameplay, better data coverage, and faster downloads for Sprint customers. Yeah, basically a soccer ball that gives you cell service. So ThinkGeek did 
um, a few fake products that I think are actually real products. I'm not sure. Can I buy this? Ah, ha, ha. Okay, yeah, it's not real. Yeah, so these are fake products. They added the Star Trek Klingon Alphabet fridge magnets. So you can, like, use those. That's great. They also added a Rick and Morty Screaming Sun alarm clock. So that's, that's, that's gotta be pleasant. And also a parody of 23andMe 4D6, ah, and me, stat, dis stat discovery kit. I already explained earlier what 23andMe does with DNA and stuff. So, yeah, pretty funny. Uncover your true stats. Yeah, pretty funny, 4D6. Yelp made it look like your screen broke and then just said, with Yelp, phone repair is just a search away. Busted screens are no joke, even on April Fool's Day. So they probably made a few people panic with this one. So Burger King did a chocolate burger. Um, ugh. White chocolate rings, chocolate burger, candied blood orange, milk chocolate leaves. It's actually disgusting looking because I don't like chocolate chocolate whopper, chocolate whopper. Coming soon. yeah maybe, maybe. <laughs> that's pretty maybe? funny I don't want to watch Doug Demir right now pretty good YouTube better I highly recommend so snapchat made it look like Russian bots are liking your post and they also made snapchat look like Facebook <laughs> so as a very big jab to Facebook and all the stuff that's gone down with it and how exploitable it is. And I mean, Facebook's basically just a pool of self-confirming opinions over and over again. So I'm trying to stop using it. I'm going to unbookmark it soon. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now. Delete. There we go. Now I probably won't go to Facebook very much anymore. IBM said they were launching a quantum keyboard. Um, yeah, interesting. Pokemon Go switched to 8-bit graphics, cutting edge. Oh man, so cool. <laughs> and some people want it to stay because they love it so much. eHarmony launching a dog dating um, thing. So <laughs> that, one's, that one's pretty funny. Honestly, that could be a real thing, probably. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past people. I wouldn't be that surprised. Amazon announces that their next headquarters is going to be on Mars. So, <laughs> so that's interesting npr said that the sunday puzzle is going to end oh man the, the puzzler turns out it's not i also just found this post that has like a billion things that companies did for april fool's days and users and whatnot uh, there's a lot of stuff on it i'll link it down in the description below if you want to check it out but yeah guys that is my favorites and just a bunch of random april fool stuff that happened on the internet if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like down below and uh don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on what kind of video do you want to see next week.